Hello everyone, and let's continue this 50 state special featuring American dishes in Thailand. As you can tell, we are about to enter Washington. But first, let's go to some breaking news. Currently, there's a heavy thunderstorm overhead here at George's Pizza. Details coming soon. Washington also gets a lot of rain. In some parts of the state, they might get as much as 45 inches in a year. Where I live, averages around 55 inches, and sometimes it seems as though the rain comes out of nowhere. Currently, there's a heavy thunderstorm overhead here at Georgia's Pizza. Details coming soon. Washington has one of the largest Asian communities in America. Funny enough, Thailand also has quite a few Asians, and some of them wear t-shirts from Washington. I remember reading this book as a young boy and struggling with the way Brits spelled some of their words. Regardless, it was a great read and I read it from cover to cover many times. Back in the day, books were my only escape from reality simply because YouTube wasn't around. The original Lassie Come Home was filmed in part in Washington back in 1943. Now let's head to the future in 2037. Imagine every morning a quaint 70-ish year old Thai lady steps out on the deck of a rural home that overlooks the Non River in northern Thailand and yells, Rock, come! Shit, come! This scenario is on my bucket list. I'll explain why in a minute. Dee wanted to tie Ridgeback. Some of you may be unfamiliar with this breed of dog, so here is Dee to explain the marking. Stay. Stay. Sit. Sit. Good. See, that's what the dog we call tie Ridgeback. You can see all the arrow here of the hair go that way, back way. The history of these dogs is sketchy, but supposedly they are originally from the northeast region of Thailand and were bred more than 400 years ago by farmers as a guard dog, a hunting dog, and oddly enough as a cobra killing dog. Initially this dog was known as the cart following dog. People used them to escort their carts and one reason the breed has remained pure is due to the poor transportation systems back in the day. They simply did not have the opportunity to crossbreed with other breeds. But in today's world, many ties will allow their dogs to breed with whatever, so finding a 100% pure stock was tough. By utilizing the bamboo grapevine, Dee was able to find a person who had a litter of pups that she was after. <laughs> Notice the lady's t-shirt. I wanted only one pup, and Dee fell in love with two at about 80 bucks each. Now let's combine all of the above to get the dog's name. We love to visit the states and roam around the mountains of Colorado. So one pup was named Rock and the other one is Key. Since we can't always visit the Rockies, we have them come to us. Lucky come! Lucky come! Oh, we go! We visited one of the Thai Army's dog training centers outside of Pison Look for some tips on dog raising. Surprisingly, they only had German Shepherds, Dobermans, and Collies. The trainer said that the Army did not use Thai Ridgebacks for several reasons. First off, they're not as big nor quite as smart as the German Shepherds or the Dobermans. However, they are just as aggressive and protective, if not more so which leads us to training. These dogs are not recommended for the novice dog owner. A person needs to be the alpha leader as the Ridgebacks can be stubborn. Keep in mind that there is a big difference between being mean to a dog and being firm with one. Finally, as a special bonus for raising these Thai Ridgebacks is the word key. Why? When Thai say key, it sounds like the Thai word for shit. My hope is to live at least another 15 years to cross this goal off of my bucket list. When I think of Washington, I think of fresh fish. So today, I'm going to make tuna patties. We're going to grab an egg, one onion, can of tuna, and a 
and some Ritz crackers. I'm going to mix them all up and then I'm going to put them on the griddle. Coming soon. Nice golden brown. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in Idaho.